Be there in a minute. Well, hurry up. You'll be late for school. sip of my medicine. I know. What am I going to do? Your mom said if it happened again. Oh, oh she didn't mean that. She did, boy. Oh, she did. Oh, God. Oh, Grandpa, don't. I'll take care of it, okay? Oh. I'll wash him at school. It'll be all right. That's all right, they got cholesterol in them. Oh. Is that so, Doctor? Well, perhaps you'd like to prescribe something else for breakfast? Carbos. Carbos, like the distance runners. Donuts. Come on, the man wants donuts. <laughs> hey, you got practice after school today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Coach is going to decide today to run some mile with the 880. Good. So, what do you think? I don't know. I'd rather run the mile. It's a primo event, you know. Oh, whatever you run, <laughs> you're going to do it with clean socks. The ones you had on yesterday made the dog faint. What on earth? What is this doing in your bag? I asked you a question. What's this doing in your bag? He couldn't help it. He got scared. I told him I'd wash him up at school. Look, I don't mind. Uh, it's time to go. You'll be late. Mom, come on. I said go to school. It's time to face reality. And? I know he's your father. I understand how you feel. Understand how I feel. He isn't gonna get better. He's just gonna get worse. We have problems now. What's it gonna be like a year from now? He should be someplace where people can can take care of him. And oh, he had an accident, so he wet his sheets. Please, Jim. Don't start again. It's not just the sheet, and you know it. We have our own life, our own family. I'm afraid to even go on vacation for fear of what will happen when we're gone. You asked him to stop smoking. He stopped smoking the pipe. Because we're here. It was like taking care of a baby. And I'm not going to do it anymore. We've seen the place. It's clean. The staff is nice. Jim, I'm going to call them today. Take a look. We should have something here. Oh, uh, a lot of old ladies out here don't like romance. Oh, but I do. I love it. I just love love. 
love it. Hey, here, take a look at this. Oh, oh, has it got some real hot stuff in it? Yeah, well, I think so. Look at the cover. I mean, they're not exactly oh, holding hands here. <laughs> oh, I like you. You know, you're all right. Mm -hmm. Now, now, get out. Come on, get right out. I want to read this. Get right out. I I'll see you read later, Ethel. Hey, morning, Harry. My name's Jonathan. I'm with the Rolling Library. Thought you might like something to read. No, thank you. Hey, wait. Don't make a decision yet. Let me read a few titles to you here. I said no thank you, young man. All right. Hey, look, I would like to leave something with you. I'm new at this, and I wouldn't want my boss to think I wasn't doing my job. Hey, here's one. Easy reading. Welcome to Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Quite a place. You ever been there? Never had. Meant to go a lot of times, me and my wife. Never did. Why not? I don't know. Something always came up. Yeah, hey, I bet with the kids, huh? Yeah, with the kids. First they're too small to travel. Next thing you know, they're in day camp. Then you're saving the vacation money for college and then... And then? Then one day you wake up, your wife is gone. You're too old to go anywhere. Oh, come on, what are you talking about? You too old? Yes, me. Why do you think I'm in here? Because I'm old and too much trouble to take care of. Have you exercise or anything? <laughs> are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. You're never too old to exercise. What about walking? You do much walk? Walking? I can hardly get out of bed in the morning. When will you get to be my age? You'll see. Of course... There was a time when I kept up with the best of them. I had a plaque on the wall of the YMCA in Baldwin, North Dakota. And I was fast and strong, too. But, like I said, you wake up one day, you're too old. What day was that, Harry? Hmm? You said one day you woke up and you were too old. I just wondered if that was the day your wife died. Take a look at that magazine. You never know. I'll see you, Harry. Gotta go. Uh, not bad. You like running? What do you mean, get in shape running? Yeah. No. The only time I run is when something very large is chasing me. All right, in that case, you could just watch. Let's go. and Haynes. <laughs> Half milers, Cordoni, Maris, and uh, Jacobian. The rest of you guys over here with me. <laughs> hey, you really had a lot left those last hundred yards. Yeah, pissed myself pretty good. Look, my name's Jonathan. This is Mark. Hi. I wonder if I could talk to you for a minute. It's about your granddad. He's okay, isn't he? Oh, yeah, no, he's fine. I just wanted to talk to you about it. Sure, sit down. Thank you. I met your granddad today for the first time. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't think he's gonna be with us very long if he keeps going the way he is. It's because of that place, isn't it? No. No, I don't think it's the place. I think it's because of your grandfather and the way he was treated at your house. Hey, wait a minute. Look, I don't agree with putting him in a home. Well, when he was with us, my mom weighed on him hand and foot. It was hard on him. Look, I know that, and I'm not saying anything bad about your mom. What I am saying is I don't think waiting on him hand and foot is what he needs right now. What do you think he needs? I think he needs a good swift kick in the butt. Somebody's willing to take the time and effort to get him back into living. 
instead of just keeping him comfortable while he waits to die, which is what he's doing right now. Hey, Haynes! You're a miler now, not a spectator. Right, coach? I have some more running to do. Can we talk as soon as I'm through? Well, if you don't mind, I'll join you. I can talk while we're running. If you think you're up to it. You'd be surprised. Okay. Hey, you want to join us? Yeah, I'll get the car. Oh, that's cute. That's real cute. Running. <laughs> we think it's your run or something that's got a bet on it. Yeah, me too. So you, you don't mind my running with you, do you? Oh, not at all. Ah, oh, good. I'll keep the pace down. Oh, that's all right. I like being pushed. Very hey, good. How many laps you figure to do? Oh, 40. Hey, Granddad. Matt, what are you doing here? Told you I was coming. Brought your present. Oh, what's this? Go on, open it. Hey, it looks pretty good. You didn't touch it. Oh, I'm not hungry. Well, maybe it's in the bag. It'll prick up your appetite. What? What am I supposed to do with this? Walk. Figure you and I could take some good walks together. I haven't got the strength to walk. Oh, come on. You and Grandma used to walk all the time. That was years ago. That was a year and a half ago. Seems like a lifetime. Because you stopped everything after Grandma died. You stopped living. That's not true. Oh, it is, and you know it. Had any way to talk to your grandfather? I'm talking to you this way because I love you. If people loved me, they wouldn't have sent me here to die. That's what this is, you know, a place where you sit and wait to die. No, it isn't. It is. And you tell your father I won't keep him waiting. I'm going to die just as soon as I can. Grandpa, please. Come on, come on, go on back to your family. I don't belong there anymore. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yourself, it's your fault. What do you mean? You're the one who said that running was good for you. I said running was good for you, but you don't start out with a marathon. What do you want me to do? Look like a wimp in front of that woman? I was I to know she ran like Mary Decker. Look, I gotta go out for a while. You gonna be all right? I wanna die. 
I'm gonna die. Well, while I'm out, I'll say a prayer for you. Oh, that's cute, John. I'm cute. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to throw up. <sighs> Maybe if I have a wheat thin. Can't sleep, Harry? What are you doing here this time of night? I was just on my way home. Thought I'd step by and see if you like the book. It's all right. Kind of hard on your grandson today. What? I was passing by the room. I couldn't help it over here. He's only trying to help because he loves you. I know. But he doesn't understand. He doesn't know what it's like to get old. Not getting old is like anything else. It's got its pluses and minuses. Got to work in the pluses. Why did you hear that? I don't know. <laughs> My wife always used to say it. I got so tired of hearing it. You had to work on the pluses. Work on the pluses. And did you? Oh, I sure did. Anything to keep her from saying it. She sounds like quite a woman. Oh, she was. She really was. <laughs> I used to get so mad at her. I mean, really mad. I mean, that's why I got mad at Matt today. Maybe he reminds you a little bit of Clara. How did you know my wife's name? He must have mentioned it. Is he like her? <laughs> yes, he is. Clara always said so. That used to make me mad, too. Grandfathers always want to see themselves in their grandsons, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. Of course, you can't blame her for not wanting to be like you. What? Oh, come on, Harry. You've given up on living. You blame everybody else for everything. Who do you think you're talking to, young man? I'm talking to Harry Haynes. A man who still has a plaque hanging on the wall of the YMCA in Baltimore, North Dakota. Because he could keep up with the best of them. Get off your butt, Harry. You got people who care about you. this afternoon. He wants to start walking. That's great. How did he sound? Better. A lot better. See, I told you he'd like that place. You were all worried. I'll be home in time for supper. How long are you going to be with Granddad? I don't know. Well, make sure you save enough time for your homework. Don't worry, I will. See you tonight. Yeah. Do you want some more coffee? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. I'm going to give Dad a call. I'm going to give him a call, and I'll stop by on my way to work. Dad, hi. How are you? How you doing? Uh, look, I, I thought that I'd stop by on my way to work. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not an imposition at all. I... Why not? 
Dad, Dad, come on. You are a part of the family. It's... All right, all right. Uh, if that's the way you feel, but I... Dad, Dad. What's wrong? He doesn't want to see me. Jim, he's just doing that to hurt you right now. You heard what Matt said. He sounded better. It's going to take time. We did the right thing. We? What do you mean, we? Jim, that's not fair. It wasn't my idea to send him there. It was yours. Well, I'm the one who had to look after him all day long. Or did you forget that? What else did you have to do? Not a thing. Not a damn thing! Annie! 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 Well, you're really limpity, all right? Oh, fine. <laughs> hey, John, look at that old guy. <laughs> Trying to keep the old legs a-going. Yeah, well, good for him. That's who I should have run with yesterday instead of the bionic woman. Yeah, well, why don't you run with him now? I've got to hang around and look for Matt and Harry. You don't want to come with us? I don't need the exercise, remember? Right. Hey! Don't overdo. Oh, will you stop it? <clears throat> How you doing? Couldn't be better. Say, you, you mind if I run with you? No, I'd love it. And I promise not to talk your ear off. Name's Clark. Oh, I'm Mark. Mark and Clark sound like a team. <laughs> you ready? Oh, yeah, sure. Come on. <laughs> you set the pace. Hey, it's a pretty good pace here. Yeah, I like it brisk. Yeah. Uh, am I telling me, how old are you? 74. 74. How long are you going to run today? Just an hour today. Got an aerobics class at six. Oh, boy. How do those shoes feel? Good. Real good. Dad, was you're happy to hear you're going to start working out. Did he come by today? No. I thought he might stop by. No, he didn't. Hey, Matt! Hey, Harry, how you doing? Great. Granddad's doing great. Yeah, I'm walking anyway. Uh, good for you. You know, you surprised me yesterday. You weren't even puffing after that workout. Now I see why. You've been running long? Quite a while. Hey, but not as long as the guy that's running with my friend over there. You know, he's 74 years old. I got a feeling he's going to run Mark right into the ground. 74? Uh-huh. Of course, he's working on his pluses. But like the old saying goes, I got to run. I'll see you later. That Jonathan's a nice guy. Granddad? Huh? You said that Jonathan's a nice guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know that old fool's older than me? Yep. Want to keep going? Yeah, might I do. Huh. Huh. Oh, go. <laughs> I'll tell you, you wouldn't believe him today. I haven't seen him walk like that in years. When we got back to the hotel room, he couldn't wait to eat. He was starving. <laughs> Annie, did you hear that? So maybe this was just a phase he was going through. I mean, part of the morning. He didn't look sick today, I'll tell you that. You know, if he keeps going like this, I bet he can move back in and take care of him. <laughs> I don't want him here! I'm sorry, Mom. I just thought he... That's all right, Matt. There's nothing wrong with what you said. I am telling you, I don't want him here. He'll move back and things will be exactly the way they were before. How do you know that? Let's just see how he comes along. I think we owe him that much. Fine. Fine. Maybe we should ask my mother to move in with us, too. Your mother is quite capable of taking care of herself, and you know it. And your father isn't. So let Anne do it well. No more. He comes back into this house, and I leave. Mom, don't say that. I'm sorry, Matt, but I mean it. Don't threaten me, Anne. It's not a threat. 
It's the truth. He's my father, and what's so wrong with him being here? Because I have a life, too. We have a life. We don't even have an evening together, not one evening, because you don't want your dad to be lonely. It is hard on him. Damn it! It's hard on me! today? I guess not. Matt was coming at five o'clock, but he didn't. Called the house. Nobody home. Well, maybe he's got a longer training session than usual. Maybe. I'm sure he'll call you if he can't make it. I gave you a double portion, Harry. After yesterday, I figure you need it. <sighs> now, please take it out. I'm not hungry. It's raw chicken with noodles. It's really good. I'm not hungry. Okay, if you change your mind, just give me a holler. Thank you. Hey, look, I gotta run, Harry. You gonna leave you something to read? Oh, no, thanks. Well, I'll leave you a few magazines just in case, huh? I'll see you later. Pushing it today. Yeah, I guess I did. I was just talking to your granddad. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. He was kind of expecting you to come over today. Yeah, well, I was going to. But, you know, my workout right. lasted longer than I figured. Well, maybe I ought to just give him a call. Let him know. Yeah, I will. There's a pay phone over there. I got some change if you want to borrow it. Hey, I said I'd call, all right? Hey, I don't know how you feel. Not easy calling a loved one when you know you're going to lie to them. What are you talking about? I'm talking about yelling at somebody when all they did was offer you a change for the phone. I just, I don't know what to do. I love my granddad. Talking to me such a mess. Why is that? Because. I thought if my granddad got better, he could come home. My mom doesn't want him home. And my dad, they had a fight last night. I don't know what's happening. The whole family's coming apart, and I feel like it's my fault. Come on, why don't you sit down and relax for a minute? Come on. First of all, your family's not falling apart just because they had an argument. All families have arguments. I know. She said she'd leave if he came back. I've never heard her say that before. Uh, people tend to get a lot angrier when they're feeling guilty. Your mom's feeling guilty because she doesn't want your grandfather living in the house anymore. Your dad's feeling guilty because he let your grandfather be put in there in the first place. But who's right? There's no right in that. That's something your folks are going to have to work out. But I'll tell you one thing, it hasn't got a thing to do with your relationship with your grandfather. You love him, don't you? Sure I do. 
And you want to keep helping? Yeah, but... Hey, there's no buts about it, then. Look, Matt, you have to do what you think is right, regardless of what's going on with your parents. Believe me, nothing bad can come from helping a loved one. Besides, if you don't, there's going to be three of you feeling guilty. about doing a little jogging. He said, don't overdo, stay off the cement, and it's okay. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. What do you think? It's up to you. Joe, sure would surprise your mom and dad if we won that thing. Now, don't worry about winning. Just fun to enter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boy, that would be something if we won it. Well, what do you say? I say, let's do it. These are... Oh, boy, Jonathan, these are terrific. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. Well, I couldn't have you running in the big race with those old worn-out shoes of yours. <laughs> I feel fast in these already. <laughs> yeah, they're good ones. Hi, Dad. How you doing? Oh, well, I never better. Can we come in? Sure. Look, I'll see you later, Harry. No, oh, Jonathan, don't go. This is my son, Jim. Jim, my friend, Jonathan. Hi. How you doing? Dad, I know you haven't wanted to see me, but Matt was telling us about the race tomorrow, and I want to wish you good luck. Thanks. I'm real proud of you. I'll bet I couldn't run the 5K myself. Probably not. Well, how's it going here? They, they, they treating you good? Sure. Not like home, but sometimes strangers treat you better than family. Dad, we only put you here because we thought you needed the care. Do I look like I need it now? Do I? No. I tell you what. I'll make you a bet. If Matt and I win this tomorrow, I get to come home. Well, 
you just said that you put me in here because I needed care. Now, if I win, I ought to show you and Ann that I don't. Oh, come on, son, give me a chance. Why do you think I've been doing all this? To show you, that's why. What do you say? Is it a bet? Yeah, Dad. <laughs> it's a bet. shouldn't have done that. What'd your mom say? He didn't tell her. He said, wait till tomorrow. No reason to say anything till we see what happens. If we win tomorrow, she'll leave. I know she will. Hey, look, maybe you won't win. It's a combined time, you know. I've been sitting here thinking about. If we run the best race, we'll probably win. It's a pretty big if for you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm stuck right in the middle. If we lose, it'll break right dad's heart. We win. What do I do? You do what you think is right. Hey, that's all any of us can do in this world. It's not easy to do the right thing sometimes, is it? Sure isn't, my friend. It sure isn't. Matt? Good luck tomorrow. Thanks. partner you bet <laughs> and good luck dad you mean that of course i do i hope you go out there and win well you sort of surprised me i i didn't know you wanted me back home again all participants to the starting line here we go <laughs> what was he talking about Coming home? What was he talking about?
Go on home. Hey, Harry. John, what did you think of the race? Are you kidding? It was great. Matt sure set a pace, didn't he? Hey, you didn't do bad yourself. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> Personal best by over a minute. Did you see Jim after the race? No, don't know where he went. I'll call as soon as I get packed. Sure will be good to be back in my old bed tonight. Anne didn't know about the bet until you told her. Oh, sure she did. She wished me luck today. No, she didn't, Harry. Believe me. She already told Jim she'd leave if you came back home. Are you sure? Matt told me. The boy knew? Yeah, he knew. Drive me over to the house, would you? Dad. Where's Anne? Oh, she's she's upstairs with Matt. Dad, I I, I have something to tell you that Oh, well, I want to tell you something. You and Anne. Sit down. Oh, please, I just I just have to tell you something. It'll only take a minute. Come on, come on. Just sit over there. Just... Now, you know, I made a bet with my son, and I won it, too. Of course, I had a little help from my grandson. Uh, by golly, I ran a pretty good race. And while I was running, I got to thinking... If I can do this, there must be a lot of other things I can do. And see. So, to make a short story long, <laughs> I decided to start seeing all the places I never got to see. Beginning with Hollywood. Well, you know, Jim, I always promised your mother we'd go. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, that's all. And, well, that's it. I'll miss you, but I'll write. How long will you be gone? Oh, my. Well, uh, see. I don't know. <laughs> but when I get back, I'm still going to want my own place. Closer to the park so I can keep running. <laughs> kind of gets in your blood, you know. Look at the time. Jonathan's going to take me to the airport. See a movie star, I'll get you an autograph. Believe it or not, down deep, I understand. My son. Hurt you to get out and do a little running yourself? I will. When you get back, we're gonna run together. <laughs>